Hey guys, I'm Nick, President CEO here at Dropback TV, and today we're going to be talking about something that I think is very, very important. If you ever want to do YouTube as a job, do it full time, maybe even turn it into a career. And to do that, uh, you've got to start doing one very simple thing. Now, what is that very simple thing? Well, sadly, while it's simple, it's not easy, and that is thinking of YouTube as a business. A lot of people come into YouTube thinking it's a creative outlet, they do it for fun, all of that stuff, stuff that you shouldn't honestly stop doing. But there's one key thing that has to change, and it changes on every single channel. If you look at the top channels, they stop thinking of YouTube as a simple creative outlet for them, something they do as a hobby, but they do YouTube as a job. They run it like a business. They have have expenses they have you know things that they do they look at what is going on in the market right what people want and they supply it they don't just make videos for them but they make videos for their audience I'm a big proponent of this I make videos for my audience not for me for the people who watch my content why because that's who really matters to me plus it makes sense supply and demand the basics of economics I give my audience what they demand so I supply what they they demand it makes sense and that's because I think of my YouTube channel as a business once I started doing this everything changed I mean literally my YouTube channel started doing a lot better because I started giving people what they wanted right now I didn't sacrifice what I liked doing I didn't and honestly I love doing the stuff that I do on my channel and because of that right I'm still enjoying it but I figured out something that I enjoyed that people wanted. And for me, that was Minecraft tutorials. And I went after it and I did it. And that is what I did. That is what made my channel successful. And it all started because I started thinking of my channel as a business. I started looking into SEO techniques, which you've got tutorials galore on. I'll link those down below. But I started doing these things because I was like, I want to do this as a job. I want to make a living off of this. And the only way I knew I could do it was to think of it as what it is, which is a business, right? And I supplied what people were demanding. You have got to think of your YouTube channel as a business if you want to do this successfully, make a living off of YouTube, actually, you know, make this into a career, a job, you know, whatever you want to call it. To do that, you've got to think of YouTube as a business. So, how do you start thinking of a YouTube channel as a business? Well, first off, if you've got an audience, it's pretty easy to start figuring out what the demand is. Ask them. Make a video saying, hey guys, what do you want to see on my channel? Let me know in the comment section down below and see what most people say. The most likely, like, you'll have like a 50-50 split or there'll be like a, you know, one third will say this, one third will say this, and one third will say that. And guess what you do? You make all three, assuming you enjoy those videos that they're requesting. I mean, if it's like a, for example, if it's like a tutorial and you don't like tutorials, well then, you know, don't do that. But maybe the other two are awesome games that you could play. Awesome. Do that. Or maybe you're a, a vlogging channel and they want these topics covered. Cover those topics. It's very, very simple. Give the people what they wanted and don't be afraid to do this you know once every six months just upload a video saying hey guys what do you what what do you want to see what is something you would love for me to make what's a video that you would love for me to make that I've never made let me know in the comments and, and they will I'm sure if your audience is there they will most definitely let you know people always like to get what they want and they always like to feel like they are involved in something and that's how they can do it is by giving you ideas and honestly it, it's the perfect way because you're giving like your audience the demand what they want and uh, off of that it's gonna be better and, and do better than many of your other videos and that's one of the ways you can grow a Channel. That's why it's so important to run your channel as a business. Don't be afraid to listen to audience feedback. I mean, why did I originally upload my server tutorial that blew up and is like my highest viewed video now? Because my audience wanted it. So many people asked for it. So I did it and it worked. Ask your audience what they want and they'll tell you, right? If you don't have an audience, however, you can uh, do some other things, which is start looking and seeing if there's a place that you could maybe fit in. Is nobody making funny videos on Kerbal Space Program? Make funny videos on Kerbal Space Program. Don't be attached to that idea, but try it, right? A lot of business is trial and error. Trying something, and if it fails, doing something else. Doing something, if that fails, trying it again, fixing that issue. If it fails again, fix the next issue, yada, yada, yada. yada until you get it right and it's successful. You can do that with YouTube and luckily for YouTube you're not putting in tons of money like you might be with a business, right? With like a, a normal like brick and mortar business specifically, right? Those are hundreds of thousands of dollars you could lose. On YouTube, 
All you lose is maybe like what? An hour and a half, two hours of your time making a video? That's it. If it doesn't do well, guess what? Move on to something else. Pair these videos, right, with SEO techniques, search engine optimization techniques, again, linked on the description down below, and you're good to go. I mean, that is really and truly a great way to get started. You are on track to, you know, getting popular on YouTube or using YouTube as a job. You don't have to be popular on YouTube to do YouTube as a job. You just got to have steady views coming in, and that, that's something a lot of people think that don't, don't, don't click with, right? They don't click that... You don't need to have a million subscribers or even a hundred thousand subscribers to do YouTube full time and make a decent living off of it. All you need is consistent views and an audience that's willing to support you and uh, you're good to go. That's all you need. So that's what you need to focus on building. Running YouTube as a business can do that. So basically, that's how you can get started with it. Ask your audience what they want. If you don't have an audience, just trial and error. Keep trying different stuff. You're lucky. You're a small channel. You can literally do whatever you want, and there's nobody there to complain about it, right? You can just do it, and if nobody shows up, do something else. It's not a big deal. So there you guys have it. That is how you can run YouTube as a business and how it will help you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Nick's Games, or Nick King, President and CEO here at Dropback TV, and I'm out, guys. Peace.